Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Bolt Gun. Today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint the wheels on orc vehicles. Okay, now painting wheels is actually really, really easy. Now you've got these wheels on the orc truck, which have got like metal plates and obviously the metal rims to them. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to paint up the wheels for the orc truck and then how to paint up tyres in general. So all I'm going to use is Vallejo Black, which if you watch any other videos, I love it because it's so it's so matte, it does look like rubber once it's painted on. So we're just going to go over the black undercoat and that'll dull it all down, get rid of the shine. I'm using an old medium layer brush just to get all the colour on because it doesn't matter if it gets battered or the bristles get bent because it's already well used. When we come back, we'll have all the matte black finished. Now you can see the difference that the black has made comparing this wheel and the shine on the black to how matte this one is. So all we're going to do now is use a little bit of Citadel Lead Belcher. I'm going to paint some of these metal strips. Now we're going to use three different metals for this. You don't have to use three different colours. You can use one colour or two colour or however many metals you want. But I've got a couple on my wet palette at the moment, so I'm going to use them just to use up the paint. When we come back, we'll have all the Lead Belcher finished. Okay, now we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome just to do two of the panels on the tyre. If you do happen to get any of the metallics on the rubber of the tyre, you can just go back over that when you've finished applying the metallic. We're using the chrome to do all these spikes as well, so that they're a shinier colour than the rest of the metallics. We come back, we'll have all the chrome finished. Final colour that we're going to use on this is Vallejo Model Air Rust. We're just going to use that to do one of the panels here. Now I have also just painted the inside of the wheel. You can see I've just painted that up with lead belcher as well, so the inside and outside of the wheel are the same colours. We're just going to add rust to this part. Like so. Now we're just going on to the shades. We're going to use Citadel Null Oil first. It's going to give all the metal parts, except for the Model Air Rust, a reasonable coating of this. If you want them to be all dulled out, so you can still see the metallic, but there's no shine to them. When we come back, we'll have all the normal oil finished. Next we're using Citadel Agrax Earthshade. We're going to be doing the rust area and also going around any little joins and creases and bolts on the tyre just to add a little bit of grime to them. If you get this on any of the other metal bits it doesn't really matter too much because it all adds to the dirt and grime. Now you can probably best put in a little bit more of this on the sides rather than on the top where it's going to be worn where it's going to hit the ground when the wheels are turning. So you'd have a lot more around these bolts, these side sections, and less around here. The only area on the tops that we're really going to put a Grax Airshade are on the spikes in the centre of each metal plate. Because on these bits, the tyre would probably lift up a little. I was going to do some inside the rim here as well. When we come back, we'll have all the Agrax Airshade finished. The next shade that we're using is Citadel Seraphim Sepia. We're just going to do little tiny bits of this around the bolts. Like so. I'm going to turn it over and do the same on the inside as well. 
inside doesn't matter too much but if you want to do it just do it exactly the same way as you do the front give it a nice orange color to make it look rusty now we're just going to use a little bit of typhus corrosion now we are only using a little tiny bit on this because you don't want it overly rusty maybe just a few little bits on the rim like so Next we're going to be using a little bit of riser rust. It's just to go over the areas we put typhus corrosion on. And also to add a little bit of orange discoloration around where we added the sepia earlier on. We'd likely go over the typhus corrosion, like so. Just to add a little bit of orange discoloration to it. And then the areas where it's not getting run along the ground all the time and it's not getting brushed against anything like walls or debris or anything like that. It's a bit further up the tyre wall. You just want to be adding a little tiny bit of orange to that just to give it a hint of rust. A slight discoloration but nothing too major like so next we're just going to highlight the tires and for that we're going to be using vallejo german gray that's a very very dark gray and also it's very very matte so you don't have to worry about it bringing the shine too much to the tires or showing up too much it just gives them a little bit of highlight to make them look as though they're catching the light a little bit Like so. What we're going to use on the rubber is Vallejo London Grey. All we're going to do here is do some really fine lines as though there's little nicks in the rubber. So nothing too big, just like a little cut here and there. Just had a few little nicks and scratches to that. Finally, we're going to use some Citadel Necron compound just to dry brush a shiny edge onto the metal. You can do that across the bolts as well because they'll have been scraped as it's going along the road. Like so. And the final colour that we're using is Citadel Sigmarite. We're just going to use that to do exactly the same but on the area that we used Vallejo Model Air Rust, just to give that some scraping along its edge. Like so. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.